Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA, right here on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be East Rutherford going up against Anchorage. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at the starters for Anchorage. Labissiere out there with Little. Then there's Brown, and it's Copain in at the point. And for East Rutherford, Hood out there with Smooth. And it's Allen Williams, and it's Claxton in at the three, the small forward. We don't see this very often, Clark, but tonight, two teams that really thrive in the half court. And, you know, they can get up and down, and we'll see them do that some, but they much prefer, Kevin, simply to grind it out. So off the tip, it's Anchorage. Here's Copain. He feeds it to Little. And it's Little finishing it off. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And how about the footwork? Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish uh, to go along with excellent it. work around the basket you're right ga left his man lunging and reaching for air that was something else right there unloads from 13 got a piece of it and he gets it back brown little kicks to brown brown jams it in that is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> Kevin and Greg, I'm telling you, that is one of the, he's one of the few players in the NBA who can pull something like that off. Drills it from outside. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Copain. And that's a foul called on money. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Here's Copain. Five on the clock. The 11-footer, good on the jump shot. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Put up top. And he bangs it home with one hand. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling, Craig. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring night. Now here's Little. His last outing, he had eight points. Luau, the pass to Claxton. Hood for three, buries the long-range jumper. Hood's got seven points. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Little can hit. East Rutherford leading by four. Greg, let's take a look at Nasir Little. More power and athleticism at this point than skill, wouldn't you say? I mean, no doubt. As an amateur, he could rely on the physical gifts to dominate. But in the NBA, you have to be able to shoot and handle with confidence. I think Little will get there because he has a tremendous work ethic. Good. And it's East Rutherford. Good for two. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Pass to Trent. One forty-six left in the first quarter. Pass to Copain. Oh, and there's the alley oop. Now here's Hood. Defense right on him. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got eleven. How about five straight made from the field to start? And the defense hasn't been able to do anything to stop him. And when that's the case, you just keep feeding the hot hand. Here's Copain. Pass to Brown. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. 
you know, fought hard from start to finish on that play, defended the shot, and then finished it off with the rebound. Here's Copain. It's tipped. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there, Greg. Anchorage shooting their first free throws of this game. At the line for two. Free throw good from Brown. Both teams deciding to change it up. And Brown drops them both. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Here's Claxton, and it's East Rutherford, good for two. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Good ball movement here by Anchorage. Board passes to Brown. Here's Simons. The Trey trains the three-pointer. Here's Claxton. He has five. I'm deep and he was able to put it up in time but doesn't fall and we'll be back with you shortly and if you're just tuning in it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter Looking at what we've seen, guys, from East Rutherford so far, what do you think? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. East Rutherford leading by three. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at East Rutherford. They've got Luwawu. Smooth out there with Karuch. And it's Pinson in at the two-guard spot. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. David Wava. Anchorage trails by three. Here's Simons. The pass to Brown. Knocks it loose. Here's Luwawa. The jump hook, and it's good off the glass. Luwawu's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for East Rutherford. Here's Simons. Pass to Brown. And it's denied. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Passes it to Karuch. Here's Smooth. And the rejection by Collins. Whitehead deciding where to go with it. Wants to get it to Brown and does. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of smart guys playing in the NBA right now, Clark. Any that you spot that could be a great future head coach in this game? There are so many of them, Kevin, when you spend time around guys and watch how they carry themselves on the court. Usually you look at point guards because they're quarterbacks and coaches on the floor in many cases. Um, CP3, I don't know if he has a desire to coach, but he certainly talks and feels the game as a coach. And Mike Conley, I think he too has the um, type of cerebral approach to the game that could lend itself to coaching. That's an excellent starting list. And so here is East Rutherford following the score by Anchorage. Yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. 
Now here's Brown. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so here is East Rutherford. Right hand shot is off. Boy, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Here's Luwawu. That one no good. And Anchorage the other way now. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical. And I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their sets. And a moment to check out who East Rutherford has coming up on Monday. Shoot. Then on Sunday. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for East Rutherford. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. And free throw good from Brown. So for East Rutherford, Williams is checked in for David Nwaba. And Hood subbed in for Rodion's Kuroks. No good on the second free throw. East Rutherford leading by five. Hood for three. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Here's Watara covered by Hood. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hood. Ball goes to Amy. With a break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second-chance points last year. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound the backboard. 153 left here in the second. Brown the pass to Copain. Down to five on the shot clock. The rebound by Lou Wabu. Luwawu, who's got six rebounds now in the game. Knocked away. Pinson passes to Luwawu. From deep. They grab their own miss, and it's Williams with the jam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's Anchorage shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And a season ago at the charity stripe, this is a group that shot an impressive 81%. First free throw is good. He's Rutherford making a switch here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better so the aggressiveness is starting to pay off now how about breaking out the statue of liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more you're right yes indeedy well done here's watara copain passes the brown taken away by williams Two for one, probably the way to go. You can't just heave it, though. I mean, it's got to be a quality shot. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Brown. Good for another basket for him. Number four today, he's four of eight. 
he's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Here's Claxton. Five points in the game. Up again, and Williams is right there. Williams has got the lead up to 12 now for East Rutherford. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. And so it's East Rutherford enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. How about this? A major upset brewing. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny DeJet Smith. Well, for East Rutherford. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a the more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game right now. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, I think they could be way more physical than they have been in the first half. Their defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Money. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And so, in the game for Anchorage, LaBissiere out there with Brown. Then it's Little, and it's Copain in at the point. The ball's knocked loose. And, Clark, throughout your NBA career, you always wore number 33. How'd you end up picking that number? Well, it goes back to my idolization of Lou Alcindor at the time, who is now known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, he was the first big, graceful guy I saw do a little bit of everything in his days at UCLA. And then I digested all kinds of books and stories about him and just uh, really admired his uh, work on and off the court. Because he wore 33, I chose 33. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And Anchorage making a change here. Collins has checked in. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And finished off by Collins. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after I'm that. Not, not. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignite. And East Rutherford calls their first timeout of the game. Take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. And you look at Collins, no doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. And, you know, he took a lot of pride in being at the top of that rebounding list. When all was said and done, he was a man among boys. Williams passes to Claxton. Oh, and the lead 
gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Copain passes to Brock. Good ball movement here by Anchorage. Pass to Trent. Shot clock at two. Three-pointer. That's tipped. Hood deciding where to go with it. Claxton. It's hauled in by Brown. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Little can hit. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Here's Copain following the bucket by East Rutherford. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's Trent, covered by Hood. Here's Brown. It's blocked. Here's Claxton. He's got five. And he drops it in from the low post. Claxton! Claxton's got his third basket of the night. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. And now, the first time I've called here for Anchorage. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Carew just checked in for East Rutherford. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Smooth gets the three-pointer to fall. Smooth. Smooth's got seven points here in this quarter. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Now, here's Brown. He's got 17 and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. And so here's Anchorage. Now, here's Little. Defense is right there. Shot clock at six. And it's Simons missing. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. And as it goes out of bounds, Anchorage able to keep the ball here. And now a look at Karutz here. How he did last season. Third in scoring, third in rebounding, and he was also one of the league's most aggressive ball-hawking defenders, finishing top five in steals. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset that, that you are the guy. Here's Simons. And not shooting it as well as they had hoped in this half. And unless they start finding better shots, cutting into that lead is going to be very difficult. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. The pass to Horde. Here's Whitehead. And it's blocked. But they recover it. Simons. And he's good on the three ball. Simons, Simons has got six points. Three. Here's Smooth. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Nicholas. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. No, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And it all had to be, Kevin, because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's East Rutherford. They've. 
How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Anchorage shooting 41% for the game. We've got Hood. Karuch is out there with Luawu. And it's Pinson in at the two. And a fast break now for East Rutherford. Here's Claxton. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Stay way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Pass to Brown. Rebound, East Rutherford. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Passes a little. Mark, the level of nuance and the footwork that keeps evolving every few years. Talk about the changes that you have seen from the time you've played to the exquisite footwork we see now. Well, you know, some of my peers would say that these guys are being allowed to walk and yes. have it <laughs> talked about as good footwork. So you work with Reggie and other guys, and I hear them all the time saying guys are getting away with carrying the ball and so forth. But the footwork is pretty good. I mean, when you think about it, the step-back three-point shot, the ability to make plays off the dribble, all attributed to footwork. I think it's just an evolution of the game. As players see more and more of excellent work on the court, they're able to emulate it a lot sooner and a lot better. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for East Rutherford. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. you got to have those. And no good on the technicals, so unable to pick that one up. Mark, do you think the NBA should consider expanding the use of replay? I know you personally hate to slow the game down, but you also want the calls to be correct. Well, it depends on the circumstances, Kevin. Uh, I like the fact that replay is available, and it helps enhance the ability of the officials to get calls correct. Expanding the use of replay, though, has to be done very judiciously. There are a couple of areas. Goaltending would be one. So you take a look to see if that's the case. But I think flow of game takes priority over trying to get every single call right just because you think technology gives you a chance to do that. Collins checked in for Brown. Here's Pinson. Pass to ABC. Shot clock at five. At three off the mark. For Anchorage, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Labissier throws it down. Hey, I tell you what, guys. The vertical of Labissier is gazelle-like. I mean, he jumps so easily and so high and so quickly, it makes the lob pass a simple play for him. And the pass to ABC. Here's Pinson. The shot, no good. And Anchorage the other way now. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here, Trent passes to Baldwin. Air up top. Here's Watera from outside off the mark. For East Rutherford, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's ABC. Passes it to ABC. And he makes that one. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. 
Here's Baldwin. LaBissier in the high post. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Allen Williams. Clark, do you think we in the media overemphasize championship rings when talking about an individual player's legacy? Yeah, I think when you talk about an individual player's legacy, a player can be a champion without a championship ring. I know there's another level of champion, which includes a championship Shoot ring, two. and sometimes it gets distorted in my estimation because an individual only has so much impact on a team being a championship team. There are no individual team champions. Teams win championships. Being a key player, or a role player on the championship team is certainly worthy of recognition and being held in high esteem, but I don't like to see championship caliber players being diminished in the court of public opinion because they didn't win a team championship ring. Like Stockton and Malone. Exactly. You could go down the list of number of guys who just weren't, for whatever reason, able to get the ultimate in a team championship, but had championship Hall of Fame career. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say, mission accomplished now for East Rutherford. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. ABC passes to Ellenson. Here's ABC, defended by LaBissier. Four on the clock for three. Williams, rebound by Anchorage. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble? East Rutherford making a switch here. Adele's checked in. And Anchorage also making a change. Mayo's checked in. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's ABC. Here's Ellenson. No good there. Excellent D there for Mayo. And so it's Baldwin with it. He brings it up for Anchorage. Watara the pass to Baldwin. Now the dish to Bennett. Over to the wing. Here's Watara. Sinks the triple. And so it's East Rutherford with the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olmey, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.